Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. I'd like to uh, start off by thanking you so much for supporting this channel and leaving your wonderful comments. Uh, I really enjoy reading them and I want you to keep them up. Now we're going to talk about uh, the down low man and how to spot him. Um, this is a really, really s serious and hot topic because it is really happening all over. I heard a report the other day where a fellow said that 90 some percent of black men are on the down low. I, I hope that I hope that statistic is not correct. But if it <laughs> it's scary if it is. It's scary if it is. And um I don't I don't think the percentage is is close to being in a 90 percentile. But I do know that it is prevalent out here. And I want to help you ladies to spot it because um these men other than being just totally deceptive this is threatening to us, threatening to us. Now, there are some women out there who, who don't, don't mind if their men are, we'll say bisexual to be kind. We'll say they're bisexual. And some women, you know, the term, they don't care, you know, as long as everything is good with them. But for me, I require monogamy. If you're going to be with me, that's one of my requirements. Monogamy. Period. No women, no men, no nothing. Just me. You see? Now, that's because I love myself and I respect myself. Now, but that's not to say <laughs> I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm not trying to judge anybody. But I, I just want to give you some information to help you spot it if this is an issue for you okay number one men on the down low are very extremely homophobic i know uh uh the man that i dated that was on the down low for six years uh when we first started dating he was so homophobic until i would ask him why you know what why are you so down on the gays? I mean, what is your issue? And uh, he really couldn't pinpoint anything. It was just that he definitely did not like gay people. Okay? Extremely homophobic. So, guess my surprise when I found out <laughs> that he was gay. <laughs> that he was on the down low. <laughs> he was sleeping with men while he was pretending to be so homophobic. You see, they do a lot of things to try to cover it up. They, you know, say a lot of things or whatever. But as soon as you turn your back and a man passes by, they're trying to peep, peep at the man. Now, another sign, another sign of these DL men is that they're always in that phone. They always in that phone, and um, it's probably on silent or vibrate, you know, in case somebody wanted to contact them. But I remember mine was constantly in that phone, like it was mesmerized by the phone. Now they won't, they won't share the phone with you, let you see what what they're looking at or anything like that. They're not gonna <laughs> hand their phones over to you because there's a lot of incriminating evidence on the phone. You see what I mean? Incriminating evidence on the phone. Now, men on the down low consider themselves as heterosexual men. Even if you ask them, that's what they tell you. They are heterosexual. You see? But, I guess, once in a while, <laughs> or whatever, they like to be with a man. But I remember my uh, DL man 
had a, a friend when we first met. And it, it was a, a strange kind of friendship because uh, the friend was always asking him if he needed anything. <laughs> you know, um, arguing with him like a woman would about something that he's done. And they would just have a big fight and fall out. You know, men men don't usually behave behave like that. Usually, with a man, if they have an argument and fight it out, either they make up or it's over. <laughs> but with with the DL man that I was involved with, with his friend, it was an ongoing thing that had that they had been friends since childhood childhood you see and um i remember when i asked him about the friend because i when i was with him i didn't know anything about men on the down low i i <laughs> that was the furthest thing from my mind but it was some things that came up during our relationship that i asked him about it and i asked him about his friend his friend and uh he said he said yeah well i kind of suspected him anyway <laughs> you see this is what the dl men would do to deflect deflect it from them to somebody else to somebody else now my dl man also was a narcissist so if you are engaged with a narcissist, him sleeping with other men is not far-fetched. It's not because the DL man, the narcissist, the narcissist is controlled by an evil spirit. The evil spirit can tell them to do anything. That evil spirit can tell them to do anything. Did you know that the narcissist the narcissist is two steps below the psychopath, the psychopath, the sociopath, and then the narcissist. <laughs> Do you see that path? Do you see what you're dealing with? See what you're dealing with? Now, DL men, they don't I don't think they necessarily have to be narcissists. I, I don't have the facts on that. I don't have the facts on that. But I'm gonna tell you how to spot how to spot one, okay? And um, hopefully, I can tell you how to spot one before you get to bed. But for those who have already bedded with the with the DL man, some things you might notice is that he likes oral sex on him. That's what he likes from you. From you. He doesn't care about intercourse. He's getting that from his buddy in the backside. <laughs> Which is more thrilling than being with you. That's that that's that's what you're dealing with with the DL man. That's what you're dealing with with the DL man. He he can't be trusted. You can't trust him. You can never trust him. Any anybody who will cheat on you, whether it's with a man or a woman. You can't trust, the, the trust is gone. Once a cheater, always a cheater. And once the DL man, you see? Now, whether he actually comes out, if he's an older man and he's lived on the DL all this long time, he's not coming out. He, he's not coming out, he's gonna continue to ride this out as long as he can. He'll take it to the grave. He he's never gonna he's never gonna come out. No, because he because he can lose too much by coming out. At this point, if he's an older man, he can lose by coming out. So he's he's not going to he's gonna play it right out. But for you ladies, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you some signs to know. If you're in the bedroom and you, you're with the DL man, I'll tell you some signs to know. 
I was I was looking at a, a show just the other day where uh, this minister was, was in the bed with his wife and his wife wanted some affection. She goes over to him. He's on his side of the bed, right? And all of a sudden he can't he can't get it up. He can't he can't perform at all. So he rolls over and tries to massage himself. First he tries to flip over on the backside. And so she says, No, can't we do it the regular way? So now he can't he can't he can't manage. So he's trying to massage himself so he can get it right. But he can't get it. And so then he finally asked her to give him oral sex, which she does. After that, it's all over. She still didn't get anything from it. He didn't hug her. He didn't kiss her. He didn't do anything. He only satisfied himself. Well, you know, that's the narcissist right off. It's all about him. And if you're dating him, it's the same thing because number one, whether you are dating a man on the DL or not, in the beginning, he doesn't want you to know it. So he's going to do all the things, the manly things, and love bomb you and all that because he wants to bring you in, bring you in close. You see, see if you're going to be a good supply to him. See if you're going to be a good supply. You see? And um, I say supply because... Women usually give their all to a relationship, all to to make sure that the man is taken care of and that the man is happy. And this is why I say supply, whether he's a narcissist or not. That's what men look for women for, for sex and to feed them and to take care of their needs. That's why a man wants a woman and to have his children if he wants to have a family. So it all sounds like work to me. It sounds like work to me. You see? Now, if the man is taking care of everything, if he's taking care of everything, you know, then, I mean, it may, when I say take care of everything, he's doing all the things that you would expect a husband or a life partner to do for you. That's what I mean in taking care of everything. And paying the bills. And paying the bills. Especially the main bills. Whether it's your rent or your mortgage. Paying the car notes. That kind of thing. You know, you might want to help him with the light bill or the water bill. Or, but not the main bills. Not the main bills. Not, not especially... If he's looking for you to do all these other things and, and turn the other way where you know that he's slipping out, slipping, slipping away from you, sleeping with somebody else. See, men, men don't really see a problem with this because they've been getting away with it forever. Everything's ever since. I think ever since women went to work is when men just. <laughs> because there was a time when. Um, if men wanted sex, they, they had to get married. You know, that was the thing. You get married if, if you want to have sex with somebody. Right. But now with everything being so free, when women went to work. Things. Things changed. The family dynamic changed. You see? Now men, men, I'll say some men, not all men. It wasn't it wasn't as big as it is now. Men sleeping with other men. I mean, it has been happening since the beginning of time. Since the beginning of time. But it didn't seem to be as out as it is today. Because um, men are being groomed by the narcissist to believe it's okay. You know, if you're out here and your friends are all doing it, 
sleeping with each other and stuff. After a while, you may feel like, because if that demon is in your head, he's telling you, hey, it's okay. Everybody's doing it, you see? And if your man is a member of these secret clubs and societies, these elite, they say elite clubs, be weary of that. Because some of the initiations involved sodomy. Some of the initiations involve sodomy. We women we, we don't we don't know, you know. We don't know. He comes home to us. But but ladies, if your man is not satisfying you sexually And he's not, he's not even acting like he enjoys being with you sexually. Something's wrong with that. If he can only enjoy you when you're giving him oral, that <laughs> there's something wrong with that. He is probably sleeping with men. Sleeping with men. And he probably doesn't like you. You're probably just the cover, the pretty face, so that nobody will suspect that he's sleeping with men. Now, if if your man is an older man and he has a best friend, they the best friend, they 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 too good of best friends. Be weary of that. A grown man with a family doesn't need a, a, a bro. And he def definitely doesn't need these man caves that the men are taught, the man cave. What what the man need a cave for? To do what? What is he doing in the cave? Him and him, a bunch of men in, in, in this cave drinking, watching the games, and what else? Be wary of that. Be weary of that. I know uh, this man was telling me that a fellow that he met invited him over to his over to his house to come to his man cave, right? Well, as it turns out, when the man got there, now the man tried to act like he didn't know why I was going over there. He knew why I was going over there. But what happened was the wife came home early. The wife came home early before they could even get started. So the visit was cut short. The visit was cut short because the wife came home. Now see, that that's a scary thing to think that your husband could be cheating with another man right under your nose. Right under your nose. Now, uh, back to the... Uh, the preacher and the, and the, and the wife. Um, the thing about her is she liked being the first lady. So she knew, she knew what he was doing. She knew what he was doing. And apparently she, she was okay with that because she felt like her benefit, she was getting a, a benefit for, for her suffering. Let's <laughs> say that she's getting a big benefit for her suffering, being the first lady and all that of this huge church and all that, she she was good with that. Of course, she didn't like what he was doing, but she had to accept the whole package or no package at all. You understand? And it's a, it's a lot of women out here in that situation. They know that their husbands are slipping around. They know that. But it's when it comes out and the public knows. That's when the when the wife is looking all shocked and, oh, I didn't know, horrified, or, unless she's going to stand with her husband. She's going to stand with him because she, she knew it all along. Wives, wives, you know your husband. You know if he's slipping around or not. Now, you might think that he's cheating with another woman. And, and what I'm here to tell you, 
that that is not necessarily so. And, and this is common in the black community more than the white community because white men usually, if they feel like they're gay, they'll just come out and say they're gay. You know, unless they're in, I said this before in a video, unless they're in some kind of public office where they need a wife and the family and all that, then, you know, they'll show they have their wife and they'll keep, try to keep their family intact. So whatever they're doing on the side is very on the down low, very on the down low. You see? But this is, uh, to me, is disrespectful. Is disrespectful and uh, uh, to women. And women, when you're starting with these men and you're setting up your boundaries, what you will accept and what you won't accept, this needs to be established in the beginning. In the beginning. If you want and expect monogamy, you need to tell them in the beginning. This is a deal breaker. If you cheat, it's done. I require monogamy. And if you don't, if you don't, well, I'm sure he'll pick up on that too. I'm sure he'll pick up on that too. Because, see, men, men today are being influenced so much by the narcissist. They are being influenced and groomed by narcissists. This whole society is getting very narcissistic, very competitive, very sexualizing everybody. Every, you, know, you can see, you can see the sexualizing everywhere. And even, even on TV, TV, they are grooming you for this because they're showing the men with the men, the women with the women. You know, like, it's okay, people. It's, it's okay. It's okay to do, to do these things, to be this way. Now, uh, some of these men do it because, um, it's just, something that's exciting to them. Um, they just get horny. The The opportunity presents itself. And because, you know, I, you know, I told you the men are kind of like, like puppies. I say puppies to be, to be kind, to be like puppies. And, uh, they just run off and do it. But, but, but now this is the thing. This is the thing. The religious men that do this, the religious men that do this sort of thing, they believe that they can go back to their religion and get uh, and get saved from it. You know they they won't they won't face judgment because they repented, so they're gonna repent every time they do it. Because uh, one fellow told me. Mercy and grace. <laughs> listen, people. Listen, people. There's no such thing. This is an abomination. This is an abomination. And when these men are together with each other, again, there's a soul tie happening here. There's a soul tie happening here. And it's an evil soul tie. And this man is bringing that tie right back home to you. So that's where it's detrimental, women. Even if you don't care what he's doing, it's detrimental to your soul. He's bringing evil energy to you. And when you have sex with him, it's going into you. You understand? It's, it, this is how... The evil energy works. <clears throat> the evil energy works. Now, this evil energy in you, as long as it's there, you're not going to try find any true happiness. Any true happiness. Because the evil energy has a way of blocking true happiness. 
You see, you can do some things that will make you happy. You can do some things that make you happy. But <clears throat> it won't be a lasting happiness. A true happiness in your soul is when you're released of all negative energies. That's when you get true happiness inside. Beware of these men. See, we're in we're in strange times now. These are strange times. And everything is just going so fast, so quick, so fast. The family unit is being destroyed. Is being destroyed. Because men feel like they can sleep with each other. And if they want kids, they can adopt them. You see? But if they need, if they don't want people to know that they like men, then they'll, they'll grab you. They'll grab you as camouflage. And you just sit there and look pretty and be with him in public. You see? But when you get home, he's not loving on you and making you feel special and, and all of that. He, he's not doing that. He's not doing that. Because you're just there to serve him. To serve him. And this is this men don't tell you this, but this is what they when they when they get on their knees and ask you to marry them. Oh, we get so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 I'm gonna get married, you know, and I'm gonna have a big wedding and all. But you're not thinking past that. You're not <laughs> you're not thinking past the celebration. I know men who went out and slept with men right before they walked down the aisle. <laughs> Women, you need to wake up. <laughs> Open your eyes and wake up to what is really going on right now. Because you'll find yourself stuck in a miserable situation and you won't know realize how you got there. How you got there. I heard uh, a man say that these high-value men don't cheat. That's a high-value lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. If a man feels like he's such high-value over everybody else, then he feels like he is above everybody else and that he can do whatever he pleases. And why wouldn't he cheat? Why wouldn't he cheat? He's got you under control. He's got you under control because you ran off to find him. <laughs> you see? Don't get caught up in the web, ladies. <clears throat> I hope that I covered some points to help you spot that, that, that DL man. Now, this is one thing that I want to say. The DL man... Number one, if he's, he's a narcissist, he's going to want to lock you down right away. Number one, he's going to have sex with you right away. So if you're a celibate, he's going to go on around his way. You're too, you, you're too much of an issue. He, he's not going to deal with you. That's why being celibate in the beginning of your relationship is so important. Because this, this is the weeding out process. This is, this is the weeding out process. Okay? Now... For those of you who are already with men and you suspect that he's sleeping with other men, usually a woman's first thing is, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Now, I heard a, I heard a man the other day say, uh, if you've been with a he he called him a bisexual man. I I I don't know about that because usually DL men don't like women. They they really don't like women. So uh, he made this statement: if you're with the bisexual and you find out why I leave, that that that's not true. That see, this is what I'm telling you: how the narcissist can twist twist information. They can just tweak it just a little bit. No, if you're with a D L man. He doesn't like women. He he only is with you. So that nobody will suspect that he likes sleeping with men. That's why he's with you. Now, 
you may be with a man, but you can visibly see that he's more feminine than masculine, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's gay. Just because he's got some feminine tendencies or whatever does not necessarily mean he's gay or on the DL. Or on the DL. You have to watch other things. You have to watch other things. So don't don't jump to conclusions, lady. Ladies, don't uh, my DL man. <laughs> He did some little things, you know, like he polished his nails with that clear polish. That clear. When I see men with the nails polished, <laughs> I'm a little suspect. I'm a little suspect. He did that. And he went on for regular facials. He, you know, he went to the wherever men go to get those facials. He went for that. And uh, those are some things. And he was very particular about his dress. But, you know, that was fine. But yeah, he the nails were always polished, and he did his face. You see, now those those are some signs of a man on the DL. Those are some signs. So, anyways, lady, uh, ladies, I hope that I was able able to cover this message in a way that you could understand um, about spotting a DL man spotting the DL man and like I said if you are celibate when you meet him he's not gonna stay with you anyway he's gonna he's gonna leave now he he uses sex just to to lock you in love bombing just to lock you in so that you can be a camouflage for him and a supply and a supply for him whatever to supply him with whatever his needs are. So I I hope that I said something in this message that can help someone. And again, I thank you so much for viewing this video and supporting this channel. I do wish you all well and beware of what's really going on out here. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time.